theme verse for the week. First thing, I'm going to put it up on the screen for us. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. It's going to be our verse for the whole week. It says, greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. John 15, 13. That's our verse for the whole week. Isn't that, isn't that a great thing? To love people that much that you would give your life for them. You would do a lot of things for them. You'd put them first before yourself. Isn't that great? That's a lot of love. All right. We're going to have a lot of fun today and all this week. Um, uh, our girls are going to lead us in a couple more songs. And then we're going to come and share our verse for the day. Are you excited about that? Yeah. All right. You can't, you can't be excited today. you got to stand back up and sing some more songs. Come on. Thank you. 
going to keep stealing until I say hi. Yeah.
because they live on the land and turtles live in water, at least sometimes. Oh, I have a turtle and you, Yes, you may pet them on their shell and on their legs, but not their faces. Because they like to bite. Well, it frightens them. It frightens them. Don't touch their heads, it's okay. You don't touch and their heads. Tell them how you came up with the names. Their names are their names are Tatiana and Katya. Because they're Russian tortoises. Those are Russian names. We pick them up. to steal all my gold. 
I gotta do something. This is terrible. What's going on over here? I'd say Otis has got himself worked up over something again. Missy, you didn't tell him again that there isn't really any gold in his mind, did you? You know how that upsets him. I did tell him that, but that's not what got him so upset. What's the problem then? Well, I'm pretty sure I just saw the kid right here in Giddy Up Junction. <gasps> the kid? You can't be serious. Go see for yourself. He went to Gertie's place to get a sarsaparilla. If she's right, then we're in for some trouble. Well, Sheriff Sam, everything seems peaceful here in Giddy Up Junction today. Don't let that fool you, Charlie. I have a feeling there's trouble brewing. What makes you say that? Don't you remember? The kid is back in town, Deputy. If that's not trouble, then I don't know what is. Sure, I remember. But he hasn't done anything wrong. Not yet, but he will. Now, Sheriff, you don't know for sure that he'll do anything wrong. Are you kidding? The kid is one of the most notorious outlaws this territory has ever seen. He's been involved in 12 bank robberies, seven train robberies, and that's just the beginning. Remember when you had him in our jail last year and he drew goofy glasses and mustaches on the faces on the wanted posters? <clears throat> yep, I remember. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Definitely. Uh, but it was wrong, totally wrong. He definitely shouldn't have done that. What can we do for you today? Well, Sheriff, I need to talk to you. What are you planning on doing about the kid? He's back in town, don't you know? The kid? That's right. I've been up all night guarding my gold mine because that outlaw is back in town. I can tell he's planning on taking all that gold from my mine sometime when I'm not looking. But Otis, there's no gold in that mine. There is so. I just haven't found it yet. Gold? What gold? What's all this about gold? Otis is talking about the gold in his mind. But there's no gold in Otis's mind. Yep, there is. I just haven't found it yet. Missy, don't upset Otis. I'd say he was already pretty upset. So are a lot of people in town, which is why I'm here, Sheriff. I'm working on a new story for the Giddy Up Gazette. The citizens all want to know what you're going to do about this situation with the kids being back in town. Do you have a statement I can quote you on? Yeah. You, see, you gotta nip this in the bud. I think we need to give him a chance. Who knows? He might have changed. I'm with you there, Deputy. Give the kid a chance. Ah, you don't know what you're talking about there, fella. Trust me, that kid's a robbing, thieving, no good pole cat. Say there, you kinda look like him. Great jumping armadillos! It's the kid! <laughs> All right, kid. No sudden moves now. Calm down, Sheriff. You got nothing to worry about. I'll be the judge of that, kid. You caused me trouble for years, and I've got a jail cell with your name on it. Hang on there, Sheriff. Give him a chance to speak. You stay away from my gold, mister. I'm not interested in your gold, Otis. Good thing. There's no gold in that mine anyway. I don't blame you for being a bit suspicious of me there, folks. I've caused a lot of trouble here in Giddy Up Junction in the past, especially for you, Sheriff. But things are different now. A few months ago, I was on the run, hiding out with the posse after me. I met an old tracker who told me something that changed my life. It was the good news. Good news? Like a newspaper? It was God's good news. The old tracker told me how God loves me, even though I've done things wrong. He told me what Jesus did for us so we could be forgiven. Long story short, God has changed me, and I don't do those bad things anymore. I'm here to start over, Sheriff. Me? The kid turns honorable. What a headline! Sheriff? Well, if there's one thing that's sure, the good news can change anyone, even an outlaw like the kid. Welcome to Giddy Up Junction there, partner. You're welcome here. Thanks, Sheriff. That's a big relief. 
I am so glad nobody's out to steal my gold. But Otis, there's no gold in that mine. I'm telling you, I just haven't found it yet. You just wait and see. It's fair.
keep you sitting on the ground when you come in my prairie. Thank you, yeah. All right. Yeah, why don't y'all take a seat? I remember y'all from yesterday. How are you doing? Hey, hey. Hey, there's more y'all coming in. How are you? That sounds Why don't you sit down? Why don't you sit down? Remember, we only get a short time because well, where do you go after here? Crafts. Crafts. Oh, and, and I, you know, I gotta tell y'all something. Ariel, what you find? I can't, I can't, I can't find my storybook. I, I, I left it somewhere, and I can't remember where. But, but, I was reading the story when I lost. Where, where? It's on that little. No, no, that was the one from the first day. The other one that I found. I lost it. But I was reading the story in it, and I think I remember. But before we do the story, what? Who remembers our song? Do you remember the song? You ready to sing a song? All right, on your feet, let's sing our song. I have been wait and look, look. When I was down at the trading post, look what I found. Who's ready for a song? All right, now how does it start? What's the first word in our song? Stop your feet. No. Like this. What's the word? Anybody remember? Giddy up. up. All right, you guys ready to go? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Giddy up, partner. Get ready to go. To hear of a God that loves us so. Tip your hat and stomp your feet. Dust your chaps and take a seat. Y'all listen to God's word so true. The tales of his love for me and for you. Yeah! Wow! That was great. You guys remember almost all the words. That's not a picture, son. That's called a tin type. Didn't you know that? Now, all right. That pee word. Now, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I remember, I remember the story right, right before. Why don't y'all take a seat? Take a seat. I remember the story right before I lost that book. Right before I lost my book this morning. And, and it's, it's, it's a great story today. Remember, we've been talking about this thing all week. Starts with a G. And ends with an gospel. Do you remember what it's called? God. Jesus. No. Jesus. No. Starts with Jesus. a G and ends with an gospel. It's the good, good, good God. God. Gospel. The gospel. Remember? Yeah. And that's the story of Jesus, right? The gospel is the story of Jesus. So, so listen to this story. There was a time. There was a time near around about the time of Jesus when a man named Philip was told to get out of his country because they didn't want nobody talking about Jesus in his country. So he traveled around to other countries telling about Jesus. And you know what? You know what the people said when they heard the story of Jesus? They said, Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! That's right, because Jesus died and came alive. And an angel came, came down and talked to Philip. And said, Philip, you got to go out into the desert where it's hot and dry and dusty and the sand's going to burn your bare feet. And Philip said, okay, angel, I'll go on my way. And so he got up and he traveled out. And he was so thirsty and he was so dirty and the sand was in his eyes and it was up his nose and it was between his toes. And you know what he saw off in the distance? He saw a chariot. Y'all know what a chariot is? Yeah. It's, it's like true. it's like a covered wagon, but with two wheels, pulled by horses. Oh, yeah. And you know who was in this chariot? Jesus. Jesus. No, it was God. a king from far away. Yeah. And the chariot was covered with gold and jewels. Yeah. And the horses were beautiful white horses. Was it God? And Philip, oh, shh, listen to the story, or I'll forget. I, 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 and, and, and Philip went up to the chariot. And he saw the king and he said, King, what are you doing here in these parts? You're from so far That's away. Bad, I know. And the king said, I come to hear about the one true God in the world. And Philip said, Well, do you do you understand the story of the one true God? And he said, I don't, I don't understand, Philip. Can you tell me? And so Philip got in his chariot and he told him about his friend named Jesus. Jesus and how he 
was alive. And the king said, oh, my Lord, I love Jesus. And I can't believe that God loves me so much that he would send his son to die for me. And you know what? He sent his son to die for y'all, too. Isn't that amazing? Can I get a yee-haw? Yeah! Yeah! Who? That's, that's, he died for all y'all to give you forgiveness. So, wait, wait, wait. Can you guys pray for me tonight that I find my storybook so I have something to tell you tomorrow? Because I sure do like reading these stories. Can you do that for me? Yes. All right. So who did Philip go and see? Jesus. No. A king. A king. That's right. From Where was he from? Far away. That's right. And what did Philip tell him about? Jesus. Jesus and the story of Jesus. We call it the what? The gospel. The, it starts with the G. The gospel. The gospel. That's right. Oh, yee-haw. You all so smart. Who's waiting for us? Crabs. All right. Follow me. Take his hat. Don't touch my hat, young missy. Here we go. I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Perfect. You ready for the glue stick? You know that's just white, right? It's just white. Alright, ready? Thank you. 
I got it. One more thing, you can't scream around them, you'll frighten them. So keep your voices down, okay? Okay, come on. Come on. Go one at a time. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I love one. I like better because it's a cool. Yeah! I know, that one has a big one.
right? All right, before we start the Bible story, I want to know if you know how precious God's Word is. Yeah, it's so precious. So read it every day. Cherish it with all your might, right? Read it, embrace it, memorize it. It's all you need in life. Trust me with that. Okay? Oh, no? Okay. So let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Lord, for for your word, for all the stories that are written for us so that we understand your love, who you are and who we are. Lord, as we...
Everybody pull up a notepad. So that we I got can seven. Score. Mm -hmm. All right, so the white team got three. I got seven. Go. You don't have four. Found it. He just came back in. I don't want to go to Don't wait for it. No. Somebody else get them. Somebody help him so he can keep going. He's playing for your team. No, Joseph, get in line, Joseph. You can't bounce right now. Let's go. You're good at this. Here. You're so good at this, Eva. Oh, Go. Let's go, Maverick. Let's go, Maverick. Red team, you're getting a ball in the white team. Go. White team. Go. White team. White team. White Got one. There you go. Three. Come on, Maverick. That's right. 
right. That's, that's you know what? I think the uh, huh. What you doing? I think I'm gonna go back to go back to cow wrestling. I think I'm done with my prospecting days. You know what? I think that's probably a good plan. Yes, ma'am. Alright, do you think we should remind the students about our memory books for Yeah, school? let's do that. That let's might be the encouragement for them all. Yeah, yeah.
He wants to say a little prayer with us, so listen all up. All right. Hey, what time are you going to be here? Those of you that are available, you're going to be here at where we have worship at 10. Hey, how many of you made some new friends? That's great. How many of you love your leaders? Okay. Well, we can all get back together Sunday. If if uh, you tell your parents about it, we'll have a special VBS one. When I pray for you, I'll be the only one talking, okay? So let's thank God for the week, okay? Pray with me. Let's pray. Shh, shh, shh. Pray time. Lord, thank you for this week. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our new friends. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you, Lord, for all the volunteers who worked so hard. Matt, Dana, the whole bunch, Trevor, and everyone. Thank you, Lord, so much for all of them. And Lord, thank you for your son, Jesus, who is our salvation and is the guarantee that you love us all so much. Lord, help, help us every day to trust you, trust you, trust you more completely. And Lord, we are so glad for your love. Help us to live in it completely. And Lord, let us all say with one voice, children, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.